The Hungarian Revolution, which broke out on October 23rd, 1956, changed the world. When I look back upon those days in October, as a nine-year-old child living in Budapest, nobody expected that history would be made. This was simply a demonstration where people were demanding freedom. They were demanding national independence. They wanted the Russian troops to leave Hungary and people were shouting, Russians out, Russians out. I remember watching a crowd of people take down the statue of Stalin and stamp on it and yell and people were laughing and smiling and hugging each other. That's not really how I imagined revolution started. And yet, within days, the Hungarian people took up arms, began to fight the Soviet troops and actually scored some very important victories. But the significance of the revolution in Hungary wasn't just simply about the fact that it showed people were determined to take their freedom seriously and that people were not prepared to live under tyranny forever. It also demonstrated the fact that the ideology for which the Soviet Union stood was now called fundamentally in question. People could see that East Europe was enslaved by Moscow. People could see that the communist movement had no legitimacy, that ordinary working class people did not see themselves as the beneficiaries of the system, but rather as its slaves. And throughout the world, not just in East Europe, but in Central and Western Europe, people began to raise fundamental questions about the role of the Soviet Union and the communist parties that were still very powerful at that time. And almost overnight, the communist movement began to fall apart in 1956. But something else happened. Because of the revolution in Hungary in 1956, even though it was defeated, something imperceptible kicked in, which was that the legitimacy and the durability of the Soviet empire was suddenly exposed. Things began to unravel. And I would argue that the very fact that at some point later on, regime change occurred throughout East Europe, that the Berlin Wall began to crumble, and eventually the Soviet Empire itself collapsed, has its origins, has its beginning in what happened on that fateful day on the 23rd of October. Today, it's important that we realize that the struggle for freedom that, that was unleashed in October 1956, that that struggle is something that should inspire us. Because freedom, is not something that we can ever take for granted. Freedom only exists if there are enough people who live freely, who want to live freely and take their freedom seriously. And let us, for that reason, celebrate the memory of 1956 and ensure that it isn't just simply something that we remember, but it's something that inspires us to be free people forever.